Hey everybody, it's Josh here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up Google Analytics in your Divi WordPress website. Now we're gonna do this without the use of a plugin or an external third-party add-on or anything like this. I'm gonna show you the most light way to do this and which is kind of the good old fashioned way. And that is to sign up for a, a Google Analytics account. And then I'm gonna show you how to take that tracking code and put it over in Divi. So you can start looking at your site traffic, page views, etc. So to start, you need to make sure that you have a Gmail email account and you can sign up for free. And once you do, you can go to, and I'll make sure I have this link provided for you. You're gonna to go to google.com slash analytics. Now I see this screen because I already have an account set up, but you might see this screen here in which case all you need to do is just sign up. And what's cool about Google Analytics is that it's free up to 100 sites. So you can put 100 accounts on your account. So it's very cool. So once we have that set up and you get to the screen, you're gonna click sign in and then you're gonna click analytics. Okay, and once you're signed into your Google Analytics, you might see a different screen because I have a few different accounts set up. I can click here to all accounts and I can see that I have a couple set up right now. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up an account for my demo site, Josh's Demo Zone. So I'm gonna bounce over back to my analytics and what we wanna do, now again, if you don't have any accounts set up, the screen may look a little bit differently, but the process is gonna be the same. What you wanna do is once you're signed into your Google Analytics, you're gonna to wanna to go down to to your admin area. And this is kind of the, the hub that shows us all of the main settings to get accounts started and you can manage the property, you can add users and you can do quite a bit here that mostly I don't even mess around with. What we're gonna do is you're gonna click account and again, you can see the two sites that I have set up here. Now I'm gonna click create a new account. So I'm gonna call this demo or I'm gonna call this uh, Josh's demo zone and we can go ahead and give this name under the website name. We're gonna give the actual URL. So I'm gonna copy my URL here. Now, one thing that you need to make sure you do is to specify whether it's HTTP or whether it's HTTPS if it's secure. So we're gonna do that. And you're gonna add, you don't need to add that here. It's, you're gonna set that right here. And then under industry category, you're just gonna select the correct industry. For this, I'm gonna go ahead and actually, I'm just gonna mark other for this site. But if you're working with automotive client, of course, you're gonna choose automotive. Uh, for reporting time, you wanna make sure, now this is very important, you wanna make sure you do this in the correct time. I'm in Ohio, so I'm gonna click Eastern time. Once we have that set up, you can click get tracking ID, and you're gonna accept the terms and agreement. And there we go, that's it, your account is set up. Now, typically with Google Analytics plugins, you'll install that and then you'll just look for this tracking ID. To do this manually, you wanna take this entire little script that Google Analytics gives us. So we're gonna copy this. We're gonna go back over to the dashboard of my Divi website. Now, all you have to do is go down to Divi, Theme Options, and then there's this little tab for integrations. This is where you can put scripts and all, and all kinds of good stuff. And there's a little section right here, wouldn't you know it, that says add code to the body of the website, which is good for codes like Google Analytics. So let me just go ahead and increase that a little bit and we're just gonna drop that script down there. And then we're gonna save changes and that's it, guys. All you need to do is go into your Google Analytics, set up the account, make sure all your details are correct, get the tracking code. Again, this actually contains the ID. You can see in this code right here, the tracking ID, which is normally what you would put in a plugin, is right there. And then once you put that in there, this should start working pretty much instantaneously. Again, there's another tutorial that's gonna show you this, but if I go to real time, we can take a look here. And right now I'm on my fixed layouts demo page. And this should show right here that there is an active user on this page. So let's check this out. And there we go. You can see right there, I'm on my fixed elements demo page and it shows me right there, shows me real time. So that's how quick it works. Now, with with plugins, sometimes you, you might wanna install that for your client if they wanna see numbers here, and that's totally fine, but I just wanted to show you how to do this manually. This is generally how I do it, and I prefer to look at Google Analytics in detail for all the numbers and the page views. And again, I do have another tutorial on that, so be sure to check that out for reference. But that's it, guys. Hope this has helped. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a good time very easily setting up Google Analytics and installing that in your Divi website. Cheers, guys.